All right, we back with another episode of Explicit Content. Today, I got my boy, DJ Drip. Um, How you feeling, bro? What's going I'm on? Feel so good, though. Thanks for having me, my boy. I'm hot. Yeah, Spins got you happy for this. Yeah, Spins. So, shit, what's been cracking? What you got new? What's going on? Shit, man. I really uh, just taking a turn for the first time. Switched to the music side. Just on some random shit. You know what I'm saying? I got my first single dropping July 10th with my boy Zay. Something different, for sure. When you say something different, what you mean? I understand I, you got a new sound like a what, R&B type shit? Yeah, something like that. You know what, what I'm saying? What's your sound? That's just... That's just what I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really... I ain't never... I ain't never even want to think about doing music. You know what I'm saying? But it's just... It really happened on some random shit. I was just, I mean, you've been in the music industry or around the music industry for so long. I think that's just kind of natural. You feel me? Because yeah. as a DJ, a lot of people expect you to do... You know what I'm saying? A little bit more. So, that's cool. As far as the DJ, it's been a long time, you know, since we really done something. I know I gave you the opportunity, or I'm not gonna say opportunity, but you helped me at my first party. For you sure. DJ. And how's things been since then? For sure. You really like set like the way for me, you know what I'm saying? Like your first party kind of just showed me what I wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? Your shit was straight turn up. That's really what I wanted to do, so I just kind of kept that, you know what I'm saying? Something like your shit, I get noticed from another person that they want to throw a party. They want the same vibe, I just keep giving it to them, you know what I mean? And, I just stuck to it. It's been wild. So how long you been DJing since then? About so five about years. Four, five years. Four, five years. Yeah, seriously, like about four, three years. Okay, I was gonna like you were taking it. What's been some of your most exciting moments since then? I feel like every weekend I have a different exciting moment. You know what I mean? Like it's always something that just catch me off guard. It's like you know what I'm saying. It's just it's dope to live what I am. It's like playing my first concert for JD Young. You know what I'm saying? Then opening for Polo G twice. And right. Just. Even aside from the concerts, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do crazy parties that are just just like concerts, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, yeah. I'm the only one controlling shit, so. All right, so that's what I wanted to ask you next. I understand, like, you feel me, well, you kind of been like the, the region DJ, you feel me, 219 DJ. Right. How does that feel? From what influences you to do the things that you do in the community or for the community? Really, the people is, like, the most influential thing, you know what I'm saying? Seeing them come together all for a successful event to party together, you know what I'm saying? It's not a lot of people do stuff like that in our area. So I, they just my biggest, you know what I'm saying, influence. How can I give them something better? How can I make them want to come back the next time with their friends? You know what I'm saying? And those friends come with their friends. It's all about them, you know what I'm saying? What are some DJs that you look up to or you've been watching over the years? Um, it's really been changing, you know what I mean? Because as I'm growing, you know what I'm saying, I'm getting one step closer to where they're at. And I just, I kind of pick up things where it's like, I notice they could be doing this different or they not doing this because of that, you know what I'm saying? And, I really, it changes. So right now, I'm more of like my my sound kind of, you know what I'm saying? Instead of pop, I was always looking at popular DJs at first. Now it's more about the sound. So now I'm looking at DJs like Boy Genius and Metro and, you know what I'm saying, just creative DJs and, rather than the hype DJs. So when you look at these DJs and you think of yourself, where do you see your brand going the next couple of years? As far as like my sound, like yeah, everything. Okay, so you me, aside from you, you feel me branching off to being an right. artist now. Where do you, you know what I'm saying? Like, where do you see yourself as a DJ? Like, do you see yourself getting to the Metro level, maybe building a label, or do you see yourself, you feel me, on tour with the artist? You know what I'm saying? I really look at the big, the big picture, all of it, you know what I mean? Because all of it's really what I want to be doing. I want to be playing big shows and tours with, with artists with my own label, you know what I mean? And just still doing crazy parties, you know what I'm saying, for huge YouTube vloggers. It's, I really want to just be all around it, not just, you know what I'm saying? Some DJs are specifically club DJs, concert DJs. Wedding DJs, you know what I mean? Whatever yeah. kind of DJ, I really want to just be all rounded as far as the industry level, concerts, producing, you know what I'm saying? Artists and just crazy parties still and just music festivals and whatnot. Uh, yeah, being able to do all want. All right, that's real. So I understand that uh, you're going to school or whatever. Yeah. Or not, not whatever, that's a big deal. But you started school in September, you told me. Yeah, I started um, school in September. At Columbia, right? I, yes, sir. What's going to be your major? Music business with a minor in uh, radio personality. My focus in live and touring. All right, so with that, you just, you know, trying to tie everything together. Tie everything together, you so, know what I'm saying? I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty self, self-explanatory. But I, would, I just kind of want to, you feel me, dive deep in that. Um, this, this is going to be your first year of school. Yeah, right? my first year So of what school. are you looking to expect from that? What are you just a lot of networking, that? you know what I mean? That's really just talking to everyone that I can, you know what I'm saying? Finding out who's doing what and just try to tie it, you know what I'm saying? There's a whole bunch of dancers, theater, you know what I'm saying? Theater people, film, comedy journalism, photographers, like, everything you could think of, yeah, I'm just, I want to find a way to put it all together, you know what I mean, like, how can we do this together, and you know what I mean, Hit, make this happen out of, you know what I mean, just something so different, like, who knows, I could be DJing 
for a live music theater. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like so many different, so many different yeah, avenues like, they can go yeah, down. Yeah, like okay. I just want to take every route I really can with it. You right. know what I mean? At least find out every route that you can. For right, sure. right. That's just real. That's, that's respectful. All right, for sure. So uh, you was doing all this while you was in high school, right? Yeah. You just graduated from. No, I graduated in 2018. Oh, 2018. Yeah. Okay, okay. yeah, and I yeah. took the I took the last two years just you to a, keep DJing. Really, a lot of work while yeah. you was in high school. Yeah. I remember uh, seeing you on the ground. You were the DJ Bishop No Prime, right? Yeah, I got to DJ my own prom, my own homecoming, my own turnabout. The next year is homecoming prom, so that was definitely that's love. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. at a level I was at then, that's a that's a big thing. You know what I mean? Like, no, sure. I mean, I want to kind of ask you, but like, how did it feel? You feel me to be? Because I remember some of the things that people used to ask me like. I never used to go to the parties in college because I was always DJing them. Yeah. So you feel me? Like, you want to talk a little bit about that? Like, just to always be on a different side rather than, you feel me? Because it, it kind of takes yeah. you out of the student body perspective. And right. Picture, you know what I'm saying? Well, see, I like to party, you know what I mean? So it's like seeing, being on the other side of it, it's like, it make me want to make them party how I would like to party. You know what yeah. I mean? Just like turning them up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to give them what they want, you know what I mean? And I, if I can do that and they trust me, that shit is lit, you know what I mean? Exactly. What are um what are some of the artists you listen to right now? A lot of Gunna. Um I the Gunna really like I listen to a lot of Gunna. Like hella Gunna. Um, What's your favorite Gunna song? Right now, Wanna. No, 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 no. That's Nasty Girl on camera. Uh, yeah, nasty girl on camera. Nasty girl I do listen yeah, I listen to like tape. I really listen to everything though. Like I listen to everything, everything. Like I listen literally to everything, like as far as artists and no, you already have. Uh, yeah. But I really listen to everybody. Like it's not one person who I really don't listen to. Right, I listen. So I got this. It's kind of like a two part question. What is? Who are some of your favorite? Uh, you know, artists you got up next right now. You know what I'm saying? Like when you said that, we could we could go as far as like Roddy Rich because I know he just got the you know what I'm saying best new right. album. Uh, Roddy or, Rich. I, I fuck with Baby. Baby doing this thing. Okay, yeah. You know baby what I'm saying? One of the I fuck with Baby Smooth. Baby Smooth coming out of Detroit. I fuck with him heavy. What you think about Detroit music scene? I fuck with it. I fuck with like they sound. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's just finally starting yeah, to pop up. Yeah, yeah, that's just hard. Right. Yeah, I fuck with that. So, all right, and then the second part of the question is, who are some of like the you know you a local DJ? Who are some of the local artists that's about to pop? What you think? I pray for all of them because it's so much. It's so much cold music. You know what I'm saying? That's unheard right now. Like I could just give you a whole bunch of names, but I would just sound like I'm I'm riding them. You know what I mean? But it's really so much like. It's so much, you know what I'm saying? It's so cold. Everyone got their own sound, you know what I'm saying? And being from an area that's not known for having music, but all these people making music and it just sounds so good, like, you know what I mean? It's just a matter of how they push themselves. There's so many people. You got names on them? Nah. All right, yeah, that's real. I mean, and, that, and it's real. You say you pray for them. What's like, if you, if you want to speak on it, what's like your relationship or your spirituality like? Like, what you mean? Like, you think as far as religious beliefs? You say you pray for artists. I never really heard nobody oh, yeah. say that. Like, I heard, like, I pray for my friends, but... So that's real, like yeah, I'm Catholic. Say, you know what I'm right, saying? So. I went to a Catholic high school, I went to private school. I right. Go, you know what I'm saying? I go so, to church. I'm Catholic. Yeah, I mean, so you want you know what I'm saying? Talk a little bit about that, about that how that influenced you, or you feel me? Not play, really. I mean, it just you know, it, I feel like it. You know what I mean? It definitely. My mom made me go to church all the time. Like, you know. What I mean? right, so I was talking to Mike P, and he told me like, you know, he a big, he big on church, and his first gig or his first tour was actually a gospel artist. You feel me? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So you ever had like uh, any like experience like that in church or nah, you play nah, the keyboard nah, or nothing like that? Nah, nah, nah. Like that. I used to play the drums when I was little. Nah, That's it though. But yeah, man, like I definitely got, you know what I'm saying, some spiritual in me. For sure. For sure. So, so. My mom definitely like pushed that on me recently, you know what I'm saying? Like within the past like six years or so, she's really like put that on me, you know what I mean? It's not something I ever like really pay, paid attention to. Like I didn't go to church a lot uh growing up. So going to like uh private school like I did and having to do that like they, they put that on you know what I mean it's, it's definitely yeah, different know it yeah on. oh yeah you did yeah yeah but my mom definitely put that on me and even after high school like she always wanted me to go to church I got baptized my senior year I got uh my communion um, and that's the thing I wasn't ever Catholic but I went to Catholic school for a little bit I understand that shit yeah I got my communion um uh Man, I don't even remember. I ain't gonna lie, but all that is it like baptism. But I got baptized. I got confirmed, and my communion. All those three right there. Uh, but yeah, she really put that on me, and like she makes me go to church all the time. And my mom's like really into it. She was never like big on church growing up. You know what I'm saying? When I was growing up, at least. But now, like she's really like you know what I'm saying? Like she really, she's doing her thing. She'll, 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 if she can't make it to church, she'll watch it on TV. Nah, like she I mean, really yeah, and like it, it rub off on me. You know what I'm saying? I'm always around my mom, like. If that's what make her happy, I'm finna do it, you know what I'm saying? And really, like, put it on me. I, I sit there and listen, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's a message behind it. It's a meaning behind it, you know what I'm saying? But 
I know, uh, I mean, we're not going to talk about it, but I know just, like I said, a lot of artists always touch back, you know what I'm saying, on spirituality or what God means and what he's yeah. been in their career. Yeah. But, you feel me? Okay, so, uh, further enough into, you know, being an artist, are you looking to expand your R&B career or, you feel me, say you get on with the DJ shit, you going to lose yeah, DJ Drip I mean, and just be Drip, the R&B singer or what? See, I was talking to somebody the other day and it was like, Drip, they was like, if you really gonna take this music shit serious, you gonna have to pick, you know what I mean? Nah, for sure. But like, I'm thinking like, no, I'm not. Like, not really, like, I could just DJ my own shit if it really got to that level. So it gets but to the point you gonna yeah, DJ your own shows? Yeah, well, that shit cold, who else doing that? You know what I'm saying? Who else Who else turning up their show before they even start performing? I could turn up my crowd before I even start performing, and then when I wanna perform, they already lit for me. And afterwards, I still keep them lit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could do it all around, but it's like, I don't know, man. Like, I really, I just, like I said, on, I made the song on some random shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just kind of happened. I was with fans, like, when, when it all kind of just... Just being in the studio. Being an like, idea, basically. You know what I'm saying? As a DJ, like I said, just being in the studio, you're you going to have music. Yeah, like, and, like, I've always wanted, yeah, like. and I was, like, when I recorded the song, like, two hours before that was the first time I ever heard myself on, like, a recording mic. You know what I'm saying? So, the first two hours of me recording the song was just me trying to catch my voice. At first, I wasn't even fucking with it. I was like, nah, like, I don't sound good. Like, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. I can't really say it. Nah, but it sound like it, you know what so I'm saying? You, you, uh, how many songs you got recorded though? Just one, just, just one. that one. So you just really want to throw this out there, see how it's gonna do it. You playing? Yeah, but I fuck it. with it heavy. Like I feel confident about it. Like, I wouldn't do it. it to me. You know, you gonna put it at the end of this? Yeah, I think I sent it to bro. Song. Yeah, I sent it to bro. You plan on dropping the EP? I don't know, man. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. Like I just want to see how I do, and if I fuck with it, if I, he, you good, you I, can, I gotta get my feedback. Your from, you know what I'm saying? Like it's my first time. I'm just it's really an experiment to me. It's an experiment, but I'm really gonna go hard for it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I fuck with the song. Like it's not no, in my opinion, it's not no like first time ass song. It's not no. It's something completely different. It's, nah, I feel you. you know what I'm like saying? You said you got you feel me working with Spencer on it, so I'm already yeah. got some nice production behind it. Yeah, that's real. Anything else you got new, you feel me? All right, well, let me ask you this. How's, uh, how's been DJing one with the pandemic? Oh, shit, I wasn't really doing shit, but... No virtual shows, or... I mean, I was on Instagram Live, but a lot of DJs were doing it, and I really wasn't... You know what I'm saying? I did it here and there, so but, I, like, I really didn't want to do it too heavy. I did one Instagram people get, people get They get tired of that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I got tired of that shit. Yeah, just, so... Just watching everybody go live every day. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. The only reason I did my shit because I felt pressure, too. You feel me? Like, yeah. like, no, I had to tell that. Right, right, right. So I'm like, at this point... I ain't going to lie. I felt the same way. You feel me? Right. I felt the same way. That's why I probably did it, like, three or four times. Exactly. No, but the pandemic, like, as far as on the, like, DJ side, like, even just being in my bedroom, bro, like, it helped me focus on my... On my sound so much more, but that's what that's when I really started like listening to Boy Genius every single day, all day. Like Metro, just listen to the way he's scratching, like scratch in, scratch out, just do what he do, bro. But like it really like it changed my sound. The pandemic really did like change. My, I have like even even like the way I'm DJing parties now, like just the way I like put music together one after another. It's like you know what I mean. It, it go together. You know what I mean. Like people just drop this on and that's on. It don't go together. Like I really focus on making it. Niggas don't be worried about BPM. Right, <laughs> right. It's not even that. It's deep. It's like the key. Like I really pay attention to keys now. Like okay. it's it's deeper than BPM. It's like the key, like the tone. You know what I'm saying? Like just just the way they yeah, come yeah, together. Yeah, bro. Do a little bit of work. Yeah, I, I knocked out so many mixes just like. Based off that, like off my new, you dropping kind of sound. see, bro, I want to drop something uh, called the Drip Effect. It's gonna be like an album of mixes, like forty mixes. How right. you just plan on dropping that? Just gonna drop that shit. I'm saying like Apple Music like everywhere. I mean, really, I don't think I can get mixes on yeah. Apple Music. Yeah, right, okay. I, yeah. I didn't know if you feel me because that's the thing, you know. Yeah, you know, no, that shit. Like, they take. I wish, bro. Yeah, time. I wish. No, okay. but every 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 uh mix I've ever put on SoundCloud is always split up. I've never got copyright. Yeah, I got I got one by UMG trying to take my shit. Or they did take my shit down. No, and I then, never. Uh, but yeah, that's all. That was nothing about the Instagram live. Just right? I only went live one time because. Right. I did for like 15 minutes and then they like copyright shit. Oh yeah, they did. They did. Like, what the hell? Like, you feel me? Every, they let like D Nice do this shit with the right. main viewers, but you feel me? Right, hell yeah. Shit. So I was just like, fuck the What you feel like? Um, what was I about to say? You was talking about Drip Effect. Oh yeah, the Drip Effect. So I'm really just, like, the last mix I dropped was in the winter, but that shit was hot. That shit low key slept on like. I was about to mix in like two years. Yeah, my, the last mix I dropped, that was, shit was fire, but it didn't do the, the numbers I wanted to or that it deserved. But the mix before that was the Juice Roll mix. That's at like 10k right now, but um, yeah, those are the only two mixes I got up. So really, like they always telling me to drop mixes, always telling me 
I feel like people don't even know like the way I really mix like without just playing all the hype shit because people really just hit me for the hype shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, uh, and that's but the like thing, uh, uh, a lot of people don't have that ear, the same ear. DJ right, you right. The, the, the or the difference. You feel me? When we we go in the club like me and you, we gonna hear that from DJ. Right. Like, that's gonna be the difference. Should we look for it? Exactly. Example. You feel me? A regular person not gonna go in the club yeah. and listen for that. That's a, that's exactly. a, that's a, so like what I'm gonna drop is gonna be for them to hear like what I can really do as a DJ really not just turn them up you know what I'm saying I can put you in this kind of mood in this setting you know what I mean like I can set the mood like you know what I'm saying or like the mood already set and now I'm just feeding your vibe you know what I'm saying bro like it's it's a real deep it's a real deep like album tape kind of thing you know what I'm saying I got a lot of themes behind it and shit so oh, that's real. I can't wait for that shit I got so. skits intros like interludes. All that, like, it's real shit. Yeah, huh? yeah, it's gonna yeah, be good. I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see that shit. The biggest thing with my problem with that and dropping tapes is always copyright issues and you feel me, legal issues. And it's just like, at the DJ, you feel me, that shit is too stressful sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> what I always do is I just like, when I get copyrighted, I just put like, I just write a bullshit comment and then that shit, it just go back up. Like on my Instagram, like if I upload a recap with a song mm-hmm. and they copyright it, I just write a bullshit, like a bullshit description that says, like, I, I can use this song for like, you know what I'm saying? Like, promo. And that shit. Yeah, and I just submit it, and then they'll he be like, okay. Yeah, make sure y'all, yeah, y'all yeah. it's really not that, because people always ask I ain't me never, that. never Damn. heard of that People shit. always ask me, and I never tell them, but here, here y'all go. Like, all I do is write a bullshit comment. So go ahead. Yeah. Click. Yeah, I feel like it gives you, like, an option. Like, yes, I have permission to this, like, to use this, and then it makes you write a description of how. But that's that's it. it, and I just put it in, and then it go back up. I know People ask me that all the time, never tell them, but there you go. That's real shit. All right, I mean, so... Back on the pandemic, so I know you got a party this weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Shake the, the room. Shake the room. It's the first first party back type shit. Basically, with my boy Greek Monkey, you know what I'm saying? He's the one that, like, he really running, like, the Chicago Underground college scene right now. And I've, been, I've DJed every single one of his parties for, like, the past two years. We talking, okay. like, we talking, like, 30 parties, you know what I'm saying? Every party he's ever thrown is, like, with me, so we kind of built what we got together. So like me and Gucci at first type shit. Right, yeah. exactly, yeah. bro. Like, he booked me for his first party. First party was in a barbershop. Like, random ass, little ass barbershop. That bitch was busting. And then he booked me second time, third time, fourth time. Man, it turned into, like, 15. And now, like, the crowds are getting bigger. The sound, I'm, that's how I get to, like, have my sound hurt. You know what I'm saying? That's how you influence other DJs and just make people get that ear. So I kind of just that built my sound with my crowd. So, but back to the party on Friday. Like, this is probably going to be, like, one of our biggest parties. Like, some of my top five biggest parties are his parties. Like, you know what I'm saying? So this one's going to be crazy. The venue's stupid big. I'm just my heart rate. I'm talking about this shit, I mean, bro. Yeah, that shit go bust. That shit go bust. It's gonna be hella. It's gonna be hella ass and have, 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 have a busting ass party. And but two, it's like the the middle. Not it's like round uh, not round three, but quarter three of the pandemic. Yeah, like it's, it's still if so. Yeah, it's gonna be a damn. Well, how many people you expecting? I'm hoping for like fifteen hundred, maybe two thousand. Say two thousand people. You don't think one of them gonna have corona? I mean, shit. I ain't gonna lie. I'll get corona if I'm having fun. Like, if it's... I feel like I get corona off a party. I'm, I got corona the correct way. Motherfuckers just get corona from opening the door now. If I could get it from being a party... Making money type shit. That's how you, come on, man. You I'm trying to have fun. Man. I'm trying to have fun, bro. You know what I'm saying? I could give... I'll, I'll be all right. My my immune system's strong. I swear mm-hmm. to God, like, I tell this to everyone. Like, because people ask me, like, damn, you not scared? Like, yeah, like, this shit gonna suck, but I'm having fun. Like, it is what it is. If I get that shit, I get that shit. I'm going... I'm going to beat it the percentage high. you got to think realistically like that, man. You know what I'm saying? I just want to have fun. So do other people. And that's why I feel like I'm expecting those numbers. It's definitely going to be fun. That's all I'm worried about, having fun now. I'll worry about that shit when it happens. All right. So uh, wrapping up, I know you've been, uh, like you said, you've been in the studio as, a, as an artist. And so you've been doing work with Marco Spenzo. We got that's some. A, that's your homie. We, we just cooking some up. You know what I'm saying? We got ideas flowing. Right. You know what I'm saying? We. I be around him. He doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? He's teaching me the ins and outs. It's deeper than the music. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot that's going into it. We just got ideas flowing, making shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Just plotting. All right, that's real. I know you you got him here today, so it's it's something I do with all my guests. I got these questions. I want to spend up. You come on, ask these questions for me. Oh, for sure. Make some room for you. So it's just some fun shit. Uh, that's it. I asked all the guests this shit. I asked all the guests this shit, so. Y'all gonna have to make some room. Let's go. We, we gonna start off. Uh, how y'all like y'all women? Light skin, dark skin? I don't just My last that. leg was dark. My earth. And, but shit, with side short, little shelves. You know, popping outside with a lady was light, but 
shit, you know? Yeah, <laughs> mix shit, light, dark. It depends on the mood. Sometimes real nigga shit. Sometimes. Nah, I feel you. All right. Depending on what a nigga want at the time. They got different tastes. All right, so on the women, you like a wig or a sew-in? Uh, not you, but if she got... Uh, if she, yeah, if she got to do something, definitely a sew-in. All right. Uh, how y'all coming? J. Cole or Kendrick? Uh, Kendrick. Kendrick. All right. I fuck with Cole, though. Like, no cap. Yeah, I fuck with Cole. But, like, Kendrick, we gymming out. Kids, so it's just different. I just fuck with it. No, no, I fuck with Kendrick. Heavy. Yeah, nah, no old cap. Kendrick, old Kendrick was like that. Though. I don't like Yeah, knock it off, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cole yeah, wasn't coming yeah. like that. Yeah, he Cole wasn't. I fuck with the new Kendrick though, but I fuck with Kendrick back then. So yeah. that's what I mean. But I fuck with the old Cole. Nah, the gym at thirteen. That's the age of thirteen. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eighteen. I ain't talking. You know, that's that's back. Uh, I think that's warm up. So I, you know, real talk. Like I really do this, but like Cole definitely. Has been lately, uh, I want to say releasing more music, but like Kendrick is definitely my like just pick for that kind of definitely. All right, so, uh, damn, I, I don't know how I want to come into a power empire. Power through the dough. I never even I got, watched Empire. Yeah, got I want to fuck, I I fuck with Empire. Yeah, I really don't watch, I never watched one of them. Yeah, I, I bumped into uh, <laughs> shout out to Ten, uh, Chance Howard though. His his fiance at the time, I think it was like 2014. We was in the Trump Hotel, in New York. She had a big ring, but I never really uh, checked into the Empire shit all the way. I'm looking to it, but that power, that's amazing. I watch anything Fifty put together. Yeah, Fifty like that with the writing shit, but I, the baby or little baby, little okay. baby. But I fought with the baby though. He had a little. I seen a little. He got a nice run. Yeah, I seen. Not even that too. He, like shit. I, don't you know, like I think. Shit. He probably gonna, I think gonna keep coming some heat, but he had his, uh, I seen a new video out his face on the ground, that shit was like, powerful, like shit like that be like different, him and Baby both, Lil Baby both doing something different, but I think they both making money when you type their name into uh, Apple Music, (laughs) shit at the end of the day. So since we in the city, Socks or Cubs? Uh, Socks all day, but shit, I just seen the Cubs Stadium not too long ago, uh, for the first time, I seen, uh. No, I seen it was like some months ago. I think it was months ago, uh, earlier this year. I really like the stadium a lot. Uh, probably better than I like the Sox, but Sox is cultural. Nah, for sure. They get a win. That shit different. For sure. Louis or Gucci? Uh, Gucci through the dough. Gucci. Yeah, Gucci through the dough, but... Uh, I take that back, Louis. <laughs> Louis. I take that back, Louis. Yeah, I had to take... I got started with Louis, so I can't even front. My first designer... Designer P gave me a Louis belt for my 15th or 16th birthday. 16th birthday. My 16th birthday. Designer P definitely was coming like that back then. Even he gave me a Louis belt, Comrade Doggo Soon, G Stop Pants. Oh, that's right. Huh? Um, and some um, fucking um, Margellas. So it was a Louis belt. So Louis. All right, last two. Glock FN. FN. <laughs> FN. FN pistol. For sure. FN pistol, but I know how to blow them Glocks though. Oh, bro, them bitches blow. All right, last one. Oh, right, well, yeah, go ahead. What you got, Drew? I said that again. All right, last one. Michael Jackson, or Prince. Prince. I always got MJ, but MJ yeah, better, but like as, though, as, as, as I as I see the artistic, I think MJ got a lot of flavor from Prince. I don't care like if they who started first or whatever. I think I could look at MJ. They both inspired by each other, but I could tell like Prince was definitely highly. Like Millen probably inspired to MJ, but I know his. You say Prince. I know his man. MJ got some sauce from Prince, bro. Along the lines, he got some extra sauce. Okay. He got some extra sauce, yeah. All right. He got some extra sauce. Prince yes. came out. Uh, MJ came out first, correct? Yeah. Later. Prince came out. How long? How many years later? I'm not, I think Prince came out in '90s. I don't. I, don't, I could. Bro, I don't, What's I the, could like the difference of, on a roundabout, Mike, like an average estimate? They're gonna have to look it up. Bro. You feel me? Because I don't want to get caught on this. Can't ask questions and don't know. <laughs> so the reason no, I mean, ask, the reason I ask this is, is because base. no, the reason I ask is because I look at both of their discography. I don't really look at a lot of Prince shit, but I probably could tell if I really look at that shit. Like as I the shit I even seen like that shit was just sauce like it was organic authentic like wasn't nobody telling him what to do, so I could tell like shit he probably was inspired by MJ a lot but like along the lines like I probably would have got more into Prince because it was more authentic he own I think it was just different I don't know but MJ definitely a bigger artist better like all time best selling album of all time. 
Alright, it's been real, man. Appreciate y'all, my boy. Yeah, you you want to drop your social shit, let them follow you? Nigga, it's your interview. Go ahead, Drew. Go ahead, talk to me. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The only DJ Drew. They kicked me on Facebook because of my fucking name. Yeah. So y'all can't have me on Facebook right now, but once it go back up, it's going to be J-U space L-I space A-N. But yeah, man, they, they kicked me out my shit. Hey, my boy, appreciate you coming through. Thanks for having me, my boy.